Ah, David Hartz, also known as Colonel Mustard, has just entered. Thank you for stopping by. Yes, you wanted to see me. What can I do for you? Well, it occurred to me that we don't need Wadsworth to make his puzzles about the people and the posters. Instead, I can simply bring you in and ask questions and see what you have to say for yourself. Then I'll be able to use my detective skills to determine which of you is the true suspect. Well, yes, I suppose you could do that. Though it occurs to me that if someone was here late one night doing something suspicious, maybe they won't be forthcoming in revealing it to you. Ah, yes, that occurred to me as well. But what that person might not know is that I am an expert in the art of interrogation. And I consider myself a world-class private detective. Oh, wow. I had no idea you were so accomplished. Yes, and I have no doubt I will be able to use my superior detective skills to discover any deceit and determine our suspect. So confident am I that I have instructed Wadsworth there is no need to provide puzzles for the people, only the locations and the objects. Now, to begin my expert interrogation, may I ask why your room seems to smell of French mustards? What's that all about? Oh, well, that's nothing and easily explained. Sometimes after school, I like to relax a little bit with a charcuterie board. You know, cheeses and cured meats, and I like it with spicy mustards, that's all. I didn't know we had a night staff and butler that was giving me a nickname about it. I mean, I just like mustard, okay? Hmm. All right, I suppose that can explain it, Colonel Mustard. But answer me this. Were you, in fact, here on the grounds late one night last week? Because that would certainly be suspicious, wouldn't it? Yes, I was here late at night, but I didn't do anything suspicious, and certainly not with a cauldron or wrench. Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit it. You were here. Care to explain? Of course. I had received a note asking me to come and help for some kind of a special project, but when I arrived, nobody was here. I went to my room for a few minutes, waited, huh? then went back home without incident. That's all that happened. I'm innocent, you see. Hmm. You do sound convincing, though I'm not convinced you're totally innocent. You can go for now. Good day. Fine. But may I just say that I'm starting to question your supposed interrogation skills. You say you're an expert? What private detective school did you go to? Did you get a diploma or license or certification of any type? I said good day. Wow. Okay then. I hope you all heard what Colonel Mustard had to say because something tells me there's a deep mystery here and it's going to take all of us picking up on different clues to determine the solution. Over the next few days, I'm going to be interrogating the other people on the list and I would like everyone to listen closely for any clues. Once we've heard from everyone, I will give a prize to those of you who can piece together the clues and correctly determine what happened that night. Good morning, Cottesville Area High School, and welcome to Falcon News. Today is Monday, October 28th. I'm Sophia Kochis. And I'm Riley Leisher, bringing you today's school news and announcements. This week at CAHS, Winter Guard tryouts for the 2025 season are coming up soon. Students will be participating in an interactive school-wide clue game. Clues will be released on the news each day, so make sure you tune in every Falcon time and watch for the daily clues. There will be drop boxes around the school for you to place your guesses. Lastly, winter sports are starting up soon, so stay tuned for our sports for more information. Now for our countdown. There are four days until Halloween. Fun fact, The Nightmare Before Christmas is based off of a poem. And for our Halloween quote of the day, life's no fun without a good scare. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Attention, boys interested in JV or varsity basketball. Open gym will take place on Monday and Tuesdays from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. until November 11th. Official tryouts for JV and varsity will be on Friday, November 15th. Freshmen are also welcome. Be sure to listen for announcements regarding workouts if you can't attend conditioning. If you did not play a fall sport this year, you must pick up a physical packet in the athletic office if you would like to try out. Attention all girls. Have you thought about getting involved in a winter sport? 
The girls wrestling team will be hosting a try at night for any girls interested in becoming a Lady Falcon. It will be held today after school until 4. All grades 6 through 12 are welcome. If you played a fall sport, you only need to complete a purple recertification form to participate in any sport. For those who need a physical, it will be held tomorrow, October 29th at 8 a.m. in the Auxiliary Gym. If you miss this date, you must obtain a physical form from your doctor at your own expense. Now let's head over to Lily Stanish for a segment of Pop Culture Moments in History. Can we just also say we don't actually need gravity? Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. My dad had a brain tumor. He had a seizure and collapsed on the bathroom floor. Well, my dad, when I was born, but it was like a long time ago, my dad, his dog Diablo died. It was just so hard for him. We made it out alive and have the sweaters in hand. This is enough cardio for me. I'm literally hot. <laughs> Boyfriend, I'm nervous. Tina. Uh, <laughs> monkey covering eyes emoji. Thanks. My, my one thing was I went into the Disney Channel building and I sat down with the president of Disney Channel and I said, I want to make history. And that's what this is. Okay, great. That's awesome. Oh, you froze. Pete. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Like, no, like, I finna be in the pit. Tina. Thanks, Lily. We'll be looking forward to your next pop culture segment. As Halloween approaches, we're excited for our upcoming Halloween dance. Join us for the Halloween dance this Wednesday. We hope to see you there. NHS is also holding a trunk or treat this Saturday from 1 to 3 at East Park. CTC Skills USA members are now selling senior year t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, hoodies, and sweatpants. These are all fully customizable with multiple colors offered. You can see any skills members to place your order. All orders and money are due November 22nd. The art department is holding its annual pumpkin painting contest fundraiser. It is going on right now until October 31st during Falcon Time in the Art Room 219. The cost is $2 to paint a pumpkin and 50 cents per vote. Pumpkins must be finished by October 29th and the winner will be chosen on Halloween. First place gets to choose a choice of Duncan, Sheets, or a Falcon Fuel gift card. We hope to see a good turnout for the art department. The CTC Carpentry class is now selling their famous transformer benches. These are two five-foot-long benches that fold together into a five-foot-long picnic table. The cost is $220. You must place your order in person or by emailing nferris at casdfalcons.org. Please include your first and last name as well as your phone number in your email. Now let's turn over to Colbert Colder for a look at today's weather forecast. Good morning, I'm Colbert Colder, your weather news supporter. Today I have a high of 67 and a low of 33. Today will be partly cloudy with a UV of 3. Tonight's sunset will be at 6.20 p.m. The moon phase will be a waning crescent moon. That's all for today and now back to the desk. Thanks for the weather update, Cole. Tickets for Cindy will be on sale next week on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday during all lunches at the high school and career center. They can also be purchased during Falcon time on those days. A friendly reminder that tickets are cash only. According to nationalcalendarday.com, today is National First Responders Day. Now let's head over to Brian Mitchell with today's lunch menu. Good morning, Collinsville. I'm Brian Mitchell, your lunch reporter. And today for lunch, we're having General Sauce Chicken, vegetables, fried rice, and egg roll. And for the alternative menu, we're having chicken filet, spicy chicken filet, and pizza. That's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Brian. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at CSD Falcons Productions for new special videos and live events. Subscribe now and stay updated. Thanks again for watching today. Tune in tomorrow. And, and have, have a great, great day, day Connorsville.